There we go. Go, go. You're good. Oh, quick. I'm good. Yay! We have sound. Excellent. All right. So, uh, as I was trying to say the first time around, like, uh, after that, I just stopped doing a whole spiel and whatnot, you know. Uh, again, congrats to No Diggity for getting the world record. I did watch it on my laptop here. So, uh, great job. And uh, congrats on getting the audio working. Very important. So, yeah, um, welcome. Uh, and we'll continue the movie block here with uh, The Lost World. Something has survived indeed. Uh, yeah, these two dogs. These two dogs have survived. So, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, get going. I won't run a timer in this one because uh, it's, it's the first time that I'm going to be showcasing this game in, at an event. I actually learned that specifically for uh, uh, for this license at all. Like when the submissions went open, I was like, I was kind of interested in this game. I may as well try. And yeah, ah, here we are. So, um, it will go quite fast. I will try in few strats that um, White Hat actually is doing, but uh, I didn't do before. So things may go wrong. Doesn't matter. We have more than enough time. Um, other than that, uh, let's just get right into it and head into this uh, dinosaur infested island. So uh, let's go. So right off the bat, we can pick three levels that we can start with. I'm starting uh, with the Baryonyx air, uh, level. Just, it's uh, the stage that I feel most comfortable with to start off with because normally it's the easiest place where I lose time, but each run has its own stage, basically. So, we're just making our way through. This is a leap of faith that uh, White Hat uh, is doing and I'm now doing as well, which saves a little bit of time, it's good. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, I learned this uh, speedrun for Zergur, and actually thought I grabbed world's record, but uh, turns out that uh, White Hat already had it in the... but it wasn't verified on the boards or anything, so I did, just didn't see it. But uh, yeah, that, that was the first uh, boss already. Easy peasy. So, we'll head on to the second area. Which has a few Ceresauruses, I'll just gonna say like I'm not hitting this one. There, there's a really tight cycle that you can make in this stage. I can't do it just yet. Um, and that's basically going to be something that saves yeah, I mean you can see. Seconds. Seconds. If I can make the jump to that hat on time, then it would be most excellent. I can't. But uh white hat can. But uh, other than that, like, uh, I guess now I do have a second time uh, for a game that I learned specifically for the event, which is uh, pretty cool. So we just, uh, we don't have an actual gun, uh, mind you, uh, we're not killing dinosaurs here. Oh wait, th that's a square that I never saw before. That is actually kind of weird. Okay, so we uh, beaten the dino square thingy in the sky, I guess. Five hits, he needs ten. Oh, don't hit the foot there. Okay, now it's a bit scary. Does Like, uh, your life in this game works by your shirt, basically. Uh, every time you get hit, you take off uh, a piece of armor. And eventually you're just uh, in your uh, white shirt, and then if you get hit, you will... Uh, not that. I'll try this. There you go. It's slightly faster, but it's uh, it's one of those strats that uh, I still white had to. I didn't do it before. I didn't know it existed until that point. So uh, uh, pretty cool one. I like it. Here we just snipe this dinosaur. Try to leap over these. We still got the bo boost in the right direction, but that's a really tight jump over it. That's the one puzzle that there really is in the game as well by shooting that rock. And now we have to deal with this. Uh, I'm not sure which dinosaur it is actually, but uh, it's trying to eat us. So uh, I'm just going to shoot it into the corner here, and then it's tranquilized. It's just how it goes. 
So from then on, you move on to the next part of the island, and this is an art scroller in which you 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 can't defeat this triceratops. Like you just have to run from it. Luckily, it's always the same, so um, it's relatively easy. And even like if you get hit by spikes, it's not an instant death. In some st stages, a drop into spikes is an instant death. But uh, here you can just keep continue, and since it's an art scroll anyway, it's not like you use blues time or anything. It's uh, pretty straightforward, and here we have some stegosaurus standing in the way. Like, uh, he must have gotten crushed by that triceratops, like, the triceratops is not budging. They're just chilling there. Get out of the way. Oh, those were the, the few stegosaurus that were in this stage. Jump through these uh, concrete things, gate-like things. I'm not sure what they are supposed to be. And now we're at the Velociraptor area, and this is the one dinosaur stage. Uh, this is also one hit kill, so uh, it's possible that I die here, but uh, we'll see. So far, it has been pretty good. Jump over these little pillars, drop down, climb up here, and climb up to side B. There we are. And we uh, are met with uh, one of those spitty dinosaurs that you may recognize from the first movie. Don't get in the car with the, these guys. It's not going to end well. So it's a pretty straight straightforward fight, but again, like it's a one-hit kill, so I do have to be careful. Just baiting out the spit, and then the moment that he appears on the other side, uh, yeah, instant kill him or attack him. So, uh, yeah, that takes care of that. And now we're inside B for our main character. Actually, I'm not sure what he's named. But, uh, it's pretty straightforward, but it's mostly going left, uh, so it's really weird for an art scroller. So this is a fun one. If you drop down here, it's fine, but you're just landing in like a garbage area and your movement gets slowed, uh, but you can actually jump over that one. It's not possible for every single one of them, so... Well, there's one more, so I guess. Quickly double tap the raptor so that it is snoozing away. Now, we'll make our way through the lab uh, laboratory. We actually have to press buttons here. Like... Super advanced this game. Get knocked towards the door. Which, uh, small speed boost. Drop down here. So I'm jumping because I can like through this trash you're moving incredibly slowly. This way you don't really lose speed. So now you have to wait for these doors to open. And in the meantime the raptor was chasing me, so yeah. Then we go back up. Into the door. Let's do some jumps. Oh no. We've been found, I think. Oh no. It is the T-Rex. Every Jurassic Park game needs a T-Rex. Every Jurassic Park movie needs a T-Rex. So, the first time we damage boost, for some reason you can take them, or can just take damage from uh, this T-Rex, like, no biggie! One, two, bait them out, and door opens. So, I'm, by, uh, he will move a bit in the direction, or he try to bite in the direction that you're moving, so by moving a little bit to the left, you just completely bait him out and uh, he, he won't hit you. So that uh, takes care of the stage. Now we actually have to defeat the T-Rex. And the T-Rex just doesn't want to move further than this. So yeah, we're just chilling here. You can shoot him. It just won't do any damage yet. Or it won't do any tranky things yet. But look, look at his face like he's just seething with anger. He, he wants to get me, but I guess, yeah. Just a bit far away. That's a shame. Oh, I actually got hit by that barrel there. That's fine. You can take the damage. That was the last barrel I have to worry about. 
I have basically that though, Arnold. Like, it's a cat looking at spray. I'm gonna get you. I'll get you. Oh, oh, oh. Am I going right? Nope, psych. Haha. And here we just stun lock him. There we go. That takes care of the T Rex. And he's now moving away. We'll just uh, go away and then be like, okay, uh, this island isn't so, isn't so great uh, after all. So uh, we're in a chase scene, and this is actually the last stage in the game already. I, this game is quick. It's incredibly quick. Um, I can only take two hits here, so I do have to be a little bit careful. Try to time my car movements a bit for when the Rex is uh, trying to fight at me. But generally, uh, it's really straightforward. So I just have to be a little bit careful. Oh, I got that. So now I really have to be careful because if I... Uh, if I die here, then I have to do this stage again, so... I mean, I rather not. Keeping an eye on what's coming. Here we are. Oh, you almost have me. Almost. I am completely missing on the, the jumping pads. That's okay. I'll get this one. Boink. Every good game needs a jumping pad. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, you almost had me there. Just move through the sides. Uh, we should be about done now. Yeah, there we are. That's the lost world already. We're done. We bamboozled the T-Rex into falling into the cliff by just going around the corner. And... Yeah, everything is uh, shutting down now. Everything is gone. And we're taking a helicopter out of there. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, that helicopter was just waiting there. It looks like a really funky helicopter, though. Like, white, green, pink. But yeah, uh, now we're already at the credits. There's a li nice little scene at the end of the credits, so I'll just do my ending spiel or whatnot, because uh, I'm pretty sure we have uh, Solo uh, coming up uh, in a moment with uh, Indiana Jones. Which uh, is going to be a great experience as well. Don't you dare, Biscuit. So, uh, yeah, th this was uh, Lost World. Like, if you just want a fun little speedrun to pick up uh, for the game gear, then this is an excellent uh, an excellent option. Like, it's, it's, again, like, really short, uh, really quick pace. Um, this, obviously, it wasn't the perfect speedrun uh, that I just did. I did get hit a few times, uh, but I shouldn't want, uh, want to get hit. But other than that, uh, this is a fun little game, so uh, I definitely would recommend that. And uh, that, this was also my last uh, game of the event, uh, with yesterday being Tasmania, uh, Coca-Cola Cat and McDonald's Restaurant Adventure. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, there's so much more Sega goodness to come uh, coming at you still, uh, with uh, Batman Forever After Solo, uh, with Indiana Jones. So uh, it's a nice move. And uh, look at this, look at this. What can go wrong here? Looking at the island and... Oh no! He's smuggling away, compi. What? Nothing will go wrong. Absolutely nothing will go wrong there. Yeah, that's, that was uh, The Lost World. Um, yeah, uh, you can just uh, whisk me away, basically. Uh, because uh, at this point, uh, I'm pretty much set. set uh, you'll likely see me around a bit more on this uh, channel uh, when, whenever events happen. So it's always fun to do something. Uh, with the uh, Sega crew. And uh, yeah, thank you all.